Hey, all that property damage and all those explosions don't come cheap. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most expensive action movies ever made. I like the way you die, boy. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on traditional action movies, as in not superhero movies or straight up sci-fi films, and ranking our picks based on the reported production cost of each film. Number 10, Mad Max Fury Road. Budget, $150 million. Max Rokotansky's long-awaited return to the wasteland did not come cheap. Even though his world is primarily built using what looks like garbage and scrap metal, the 2015 entry in this George Miller franchise cost a reported $150 million to make. We had a deal! Much of that money was spent on the film's practical effects, with fully functioning cars built specifically for the movie, in addition to a massive cast and crew to help oversee everything. That means Furiosa's war rig and Immortan Joe's army, including that guy's flaming guitar, were all created using real vehicles and props. And, as it turns out, that was money well spent, as Fury Road was both a critical and commercial darling. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Number 9, Edge of Tomorrow. Budget, $178 million. What, what day is it? For you? Judgment Day. Who would have thought filming someone reliving the same moment over and over again would be so pricey? Well, when that person is Tom Cruise, and he's in a militaristic action film involving time travel, robot suits, and, you guessed it, explosions galore, it is. The $178 million budget went towards constructing the giant mech suits for Cruise and co-star Emily Blunt and creating the film's futuristic world, which included building a beach set for a pivotal moment in the film as opposed to, you know, just filming on a real beach. Look alive if you want to stay that way. While Edge of Tomorrow didn't perform as well as hoped at the box office, it did do well enough to warrant a planned sequel. We've been through worse. Number 8, World War Z. Budget, $190 million. <laughs> this action horror extravaganza holds the distinction of being the most expensive zombie movie ever made. But hey, you gotta pay for all that blood and all those brains somehow, right? World War Z originally had a slightly more modest budget, but it increased over $190 million due to problems with the film's third act, and completely rewriting and reshooting a third of the film is going to be pricey no matter which way you slice it. <laughs> Luckily, the film was a commercial success, pulling in $540 million at the box office and becoming Brad Pitt's highest grossing film to that point. However, most of the criticism levied at the film was directed at its third act. Number 7, Terminator Salvation. Budget, $200 million. You point a gun at someone, you better be ready to pull the trigger. The fourth film in the Terminator franchise was also the most expensive. Yeah, apparently, bringing the post-apocalyptic fight between humans and machines to the year 2018 cost a reported $200 million. Much of that budget went towards elaborately constructed sets and practical effects, as director McGee wanted to use as little CGI as possible. This means that set pieces like the Terminator factory were built specifically for the film. <laughs> However, Salvation's visual integrity did not translate into success. It received mixed reviews and didn't perform to the studio's expectations. What's more, it's generally the Terminator film that gets the most hate, unless you count the reboot film Genesis, that is. Why hold on to someone when you know he must let them go? Number 6, King Kong. Budget, $207 million. That's beautiful. Peter Jackson's King Kong was an expensive love letter to the original film and epic monster movies of old, with reported costs apparently reaching the $207 million range, despite an initial budget projection of $150 million. As you can imagine, a lot of that cash went into creating the big ape himself, with Kong being animated using state-of-the-art special effects. <laughs> Making things even more expensive was the fact that Jackson extended the film's length by 30 minutes, meaning Kong needed to be animated throughout the film's three-hour running time. Being a dedicated filmmaker, Jackson covered the extra costs himself. No one needed to worry, however. King Kong was a box office success. I give you Kong, the eighth wonder of the world! Number 5, Spectre. Budget, 245 to 250 million dollars. You're a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. Past Bond films carried hefty price tags, for example, Quantum of Solace rang in at $200 million, but Spectre proved to be the most expensive Bond film yet, with a reported budget of between $245 and $250 million. 
A lot of that extra dough went towards raising the salaries of returning star Daniel Craig and returning director Sam Mendes. Plus, there were the stunts. Spectre's car budget alone was almost $50 million, with a record seven Aston Martin smash during the filming of a car chase scene in Rome. The senseless destruction of those cars was not in vain, however, as the 24th Bond installment pulled in an impressive $880 million at the box office. You're obviously crazy. Number four, The Lone Ranger. Budget, 225 to 250 million dollars. I'm not talking to you anymore. It was The Lone Ranger's first big screen adventure in over three decades, so Disney decided it was worth some extra loot. However, Gore Verbinski's reimagining of the iconic cowboy serial ultimately cost between 225 and 250 million dollars. Considering the filmmakers originally told Disney it had cost $70 million, we're not surprised they almost pulled the plug. But alas, they didn't, and much of the budget was eaten up by set pieces, including the ambitious construction of an Old West and Five Mile track so action sequences could be performed on real moving trains. Let her go! If you insist! Did the investment pay off? Well, if you consider bad reviews, accusations of racism, and not recouping the overall budget a success, then sure. Don't ever do that again. Number three, The Fate of the Furious. Budget, $250 million. I will beat your ass like a Cherokee drum. The eighth entry in the Fast and the Furious franchise raced into theaters carrying a hefty price tag of $250 million. Ouch. Much of the budget was spent on the film's practical stunts, which required the destruction of real cars. While Dom's charger jumping over a simulated submarine is pretty badass, the scene where Charlize Theron's villainous cipher hacks several self-driving cars must have cost a pretty penny. After all, she does send a bunch of them flying out of a parking garage. Don't worry though, the senseless destruction of all those cars paid off, as the fate of the Furious pulled in over a billion dollars at the box office. Number two, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. Budget, $250 million. Yes. Sorry about that. All three Hobbit films rank within the top 50 most expensive films ever made. And on the whole, they're the priciest back-to-back -back film productions in history, ringing in at $623 million total. But The Battle of the Five Armies dwarfed the other film's budget, costing roughly $250 million. That huge cost was due in large part to the way the movies were filmed. Peter Jackson chose to shoot in 3D with 5K resolution at 48 frames per second, as opposed to the regular 24 FPS. But you can't argue with the results. The battle scenes really pop. <laughs> Fortunately, the film grossed $956 million at the box office, successfully ending Jackson's journey through the world of J.R.R. Tolkien. Well, I think I'll slip quietly away. Will you tell the others I said goodbye? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Budget, $378.5 million. Did everyone see that? Because I will not be doing it again. None of the Pirates films were cheap to produce, with some estimates placing Dead Man's Chest and At World's End at $267 million and $347 million respectively, adjusted for inflation. But the fourth installment planted its flag as not only the most expensive action movie ever made, but also the most expensive movie ever made, period with a reported budget ranging between $378 and $410 million. $55 million of that was spent convincing Johnny Depp to step back into Captain Jack Sparrow's boots, while other aspects of the film, including shooting locations and schedule, were scaled back to cut costs. It's not the destination so much as the journey, they say. Ultimately, audiences showed they can't get enough Jack Sparrow. On Stranger Tides, made over a billion dollars. There should be a captain in there somewhere. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.